When you think of Nevada, you probably picture that oasis in the desert that we know as Las Vegas. On the Union Pacific timetable, Sin City is just another place where trains change crews and do some switching on their 780-mile route carved through the desert between Salt Lake City and Los Angeles. Heading north on the Caliente subdivision, trains travel through the remote desert country of southeast Nevada, following the Meadow Valley Wash. The scenic highlight of the route has to be Rainbow Canyon, a favorite of Western author Zane Gray and a favorite of rail fans today. Wedged in between the Del Mar and Clover Mountains, the colorful canyon walls rise to heights of up to 3,000 feet above the Meadow Valley Wash, offering a ton of photographic opportunities, regardless of the time of day. For rail fans, this has always been a hot spot for photographing trains, and we'll be spending some extra time here. The wash of dynamic brake fans rises from the UP 2592 West as it heads downgrade through Boyd. Track speed has slowed to 30 in the canyon. Let's pace UP 2728 West as it leads another long stack train down the 1.5% grade through Boyd.
Back on the ground, UP-7811 heads west, leading the daily Salt Lake City Z through Rainbow Canyon, just west of Boyd. During our visit, these trains were usually quite long, pushing two and a half miles in length. At 30 miles per hour, it takes a while for these monsters to pass. Fall is a great time of the year to visit Rainbow Canyon. In addition to the colorful cliffs that tower above the tracks, the foliage adds its own hues to the scene like the rabbit brush which blooms in September and October. Cottonwoods are found throughout the canyon floor, and they too begin to turn color as the days grow shorter. You can wait for several hours in between trains on the Caliente subdivision, but it isn't so bad when your surroundings look like this. UP-8809 leads an auto rack train west in the mid-afternoon. A short time later, UP-6495 takes an empty coal train east.
The main line crosses Rainbow Canyon Road near milepost 448. The Daily Salt Lake City Z heads west. The colors of the canyon include the bleached faces of giant limestone cliffs, which erupt out of the ground near the siding of Stein. Rainbow Canyon offers you a good dose of two things, beauty and solitude. And to those who are patient, a third, UP 6714 West at Tunnel 7. East of Stein, UP 7763 leads a stack train upgrade through the upper reaches of Rainbow Canyon.
A manifest bound for North Platte, Nebraska exits Tunnel 9 and past the siding of Etna near milepost 454. Here is a ground level shot of a westbound rack train approaching the west switch of Etna.
We are now just a few miles compass south of Caliani, where Tunnel 10 bores through the foot of the Del Mar Mountains, guarding the western side of the Meadow Valley Wash. It's about 35 degrees on a fresh October morning, and the high cliff faces radiate the first light of day. Hundreds of cliff-dwelling birds live in the area, and when they set out for a morning flight, they all go together in a noisy throng. A stack train is waiting at Caliente for an eastbound. UP2522 takes a West Colton to North Platte Manifest East. A string of empty ethanol cars are cut into the middle of the train, indicated by the red placards numbered 1987. Within a few minutes, the signal shows clear for the UP 5543 West. The canyon widens as we approach Caliente. To the east, towering limestone cliffs mark the entrance to Kershaw Ryan State Park, located near the north end of Reedmo Canyon. Noted Western author Zane Gray spent a lot of time in the Rainbow Canyon area and is said to have written some of his books here, drawing from the canyon's beauty and solitude for inspiration.
even in the 21st century, that can still be found by those who seek it out. At control point CPC458, the line goes to double track for 2.8 miles through Caliente. With the increasing number of trains exceeding siding lengths on the subdivision, this is a popular place for making meets. Today, an eastbound empty ore train symboled the OLBIS has clear signals through town on Main 2 as it heads for the mines near Cedar City, Utah. The train passes a former yard on the left side of the tracks. Caliente was formed in 1901 on land belonging to ranchers William and Charles Culverwell. Originally known as Dutchman Flat, the fertile valley was rich in orchards, dairies, and lush farmlands. Known for its natural hot springs and towering cottonwood trees, it was first settled in the 1860s and grew when Edward Harriman's LANSL route was built through here in 1901. It was named Calientes after the hot springs, but the S was dropped when a post office was built the following year. This was a railroad town and a division point on the UP until the 1940s. When the division point was moved to Las Vegas, many town residents followed the railroad jobs and Caliente's population began to dwindle. Today, it is home to around 1,100 people. The centerpiece of town is a 1923 mission-style depot built by the UP at the cost of a whopping $83,600. The depot boasted a restaurant and a 50-room hotel on the upper floor. On the railroad, Caliente is the halfway point between Los Angeles and Salt Lake City, and UP wanted something grand on the 50-yard line. The end of the steam era was the end of Caliente's heyday as a railroad town. Years later, the historic depot served Amtrak's Desert Wind until the train was discontinued in 1993. Fortunately, the depot has been preserved and used today as the city hall, library, and museum. Just south of the depot, you'll find the Boxcar Museum and a bay window caboose on display. It is a great place to watch trains pass the once busy town. The hottest train on the subdivision passes through Caliente, the ZLADV. Bound for Denver, Colorado, this million dollar train is made up of auto racks, stacks, and trailers and runs Tuesdays through Saturdays.
You have been watching an excerpt from Union Pacific's Caliente Subdivision. Available on DVD, high-definition Blu-ray, and 4K digital download by visiting 7ideaproductions.com. If you would like to see this program in its entirety, click on the link below. And be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. As always, until next time, thanks for watching.